Oh yeah, you one of Mozzie's followers. So as y'all could probably guess uh, or imagine, it's been extremely difficult for me to remain quiet uh, in, 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 in light of all the things that have transpired and all of the, the egregious allegations that's been tossed around about me and my wife. Um, but it's a reason for that. And I don't mind sharing it. You see, if a person does not have any right to, to criminally or civilly have you in court, they have no right. The best thing they could do is get you for a defamation, a defamation suit, drag you in court, make you pay their legal bills, but get you in court. Now, I mean, at this point, man, it's at, the, it's at the point where that don't even matter to me no more, okay? But that's the motive, that's the strategy, that's the intention. Say a whole bunch of false stuff about you um, that get people to believe and make them come out and say, they're a liar, they're a liar, they're a liar. And then they can say, see, they call me a liar. That's defamation. Then they gra drag you in court, get you under oath and all that. Because unfortunately right now, it doesn't matter as much what they can prove you did. It matters what you can prove you didn't. You know what I mean? And that's just an unfortunate place that our society had made it to. But I want to be clear about one thing. Women who have been victimized deserve to be heard. Women, black women in particular, should be supported, protected, defended, uh, and uplifted. However, evil has no gender. People with evil intentions have no gender. A threat comes in all shapes and sizes. I would never, I mean, I would never treat a woman the same way I would treat a threat. All right? So I think that that has to be distinguished. First and foremost, I want to say my wife, my wife is a beautiful person with an amazing spirit and a kind heart. She's a devoted mother, and she has a humble soul. She don't deserve it. She don't deserve it. Uh, now, what we're not going to do is open up the door to my bedroom, as you shouldn't have to either. Open up the door to my bedroom for everybody to come in, chime in, and make their opinions about what we do and don't do or should or shouldn't do. But I will say this. Whatever we ever have done has been done with consensual adults. Who into what we into and like what we like. If we want something, we know exactly where to go to get it. We ain't never forced nobody. We ain't never drugged nobody against their will. We ain't never held nobody against their will. We ain't never made nobody do anything. We ain't never trafficked anything. Well, sexually trafficked anything. Um, I ain't never raped nobody. Never raped nobody. Also, I'm going to tell you what's, uh, what's factual. I'm tell you what's factual. There have been fake stories put up that blog sites uh, uh, anonymously sent to this person. Blog sites anonymously sent fake stories to this person. And the person posted it as though it was a victim, that they were sure that it was a victim and it has been victimized. And what does what this does is it 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 it, it dismantles the mechanism that women have created for themselves. You can't weaponize something un like un like with, 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 with baseless claims. These are, th these are not stories of actual events. They're not. And I have proof of that. And that's why I said it. I have proof of that. I have proof of people who have gone on live with this person and they later said, man, I just wanted some clout. That's why I was, I can't believe they actually posted that shit. I just wanted some clout. So this is what we're dealing with, man. This is what we're dealing with. And also, I pose you a question. How you going to be a victim and an attacker at the same time? How are you being victimized if you are violently attacking someone? Women who have been victimized deserve to be heard. They deserve to feel comfortable and confident. They deserve to feel supported. And that's supposed to get them to a place where they can show their face and, and, and say, this is what happened to me. This is who did it. 
and and so the necessary steps can follow this is not that this is not that um i also want you to know it's evil at play i'm talking about evil i'm talking like you know evil and there's been a history we had this is we've had a history in dealing with the particular individual in question we've had a history of it man had a history of it uh and there are there is a record of pattern behavior like this a record a history of harassment not 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 i'm talking about listen this is not my opinion i'm just saying what's on record a history of violence on record and we can't just you know weaponize uh uh social media to to take down people who have families and, and, and who who, uh, who communities depend on. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about who who, who have done everything that they can to uplift and help to, to evolve our communities. We can't tear our people down like that. And this has taught me a lot. This has taught me a lot. But one thing I know, man, I will not be bullied. I am not afraid. I am not ashamed. And I mean, and, and, and the truth will be revealed, man. But until then, man, hey, listen, man, any woman out there who's going through things, who have gone through things, if you have a story and you, you should come forward. You should, but don't lie. Cause that, that, that tell the whole, the whole vehicle down. Don't lie. Don't lie. The truth is what needs to be heard. The truth. And I can deal with the truth all day. But at some point, man, there has to there has to be it has to be some sort of it got to be some something that happens if you come and make baseless claims that that, that are false about somebody that have a negative impact on them, their livelihood, or their freedom. Something gotta be done about that. But I was built for this. I was born. I was born to be in this position. I was born to be in the position in this position to face pressure and sit in the fire, so it benefits others in the future. I was born to be in the position. God put me here for this. So whatever evil has been conjured up to come against me, no weapon form, no weapon form against me shall prosper. But man, I got a lot of love. For everybody who's been calling me, who's been in support of me and my wife, um, shit, man. We'll be back to doing us, man, sooner than later. You dig what I'm saying? Love and respect. I personally haven't touched this one because I just don't know what to think. Mozzie out.